It's a sport that has been in play for some time, but not played outside high school and college seasons. So they decided to introduce an amateur adult women's fast pitch softball league. And they hope it's just the beginning of something big. Yeah. They're playing a game they love in the summer. It makes logical sense. But in Minnesota, there has not been a real designated league for women's fast pitch softball until now. 300 men's town ball teams throughout the state, zero teams for women to play fast pitch their sport in the summer. And that's what we wanted to give them. So they put it out there and they got a response. Designed for women college age and up, there's a chance to play. And that is a victory. Yeah. I wasn't quite ready to hang up the cleats after my 18U season. So, and I'm always looking for a way to play, a reason to be on the field, whether it's coaching, playing, anything. Softball has been my life. Yes, for some, they are in the middle of college careers, trying to improve. For others, they are 20 years removed from competition and just want to rekindle the love. It's, it brings me right back to when I was all of their age and having fun. And when I get a hit, I'm like, yay, I can still do it. <laughs> So they play double headers during the week, a first year experiment. We asked, what night can you play, Maxie? If it's Monday, Wednesday, Friday, that's what you got down. And then we're pairing pitchers with pitchers and catchers with catchers. So every team is uh, fully able to uh, withstand two games in a row. It's a little like amateur baseball, allowing adults to do what they did as kids. It's definitely a different experience from the college season. This is a little more laid back, fun, but it's also um, still competitive. Thanks for joining up. But it's more about the joy that goes with competition, that goes with getting together with teammates and friends. Um, lots of fun girls. Um, get to meet a lot of new girls that are obviously much younger than I am, but we have fun and go out there every time with a smile on our face. It seems like a natural to grow the sport. And in the summer of 2021, it might be the beginning of something big. We'll give the old fist pump on there. There you go. We've made it to about 100 players this year. We hope to double that next year, playing throughout the metro. Uh, but it's all about equal opportunity. Yeah! And they're having a lot of fun doing just they that. Are. It is hard to find that outlet, like post college, if you're it just is. playing for fun. Yes, like yes. And you need to have somebody that organizes it and gets you there and gets in, and that's what they're doing.